Okay, hello. Um... Trying to trying to get this to work right. So excuse my uh, newbiness here. I wonder if I'm gonna have to do windowed mode. Entirely as a newbie. Hmm. Hello. Is my mic not getting picked up? I must have clicked on something. Is that uh, any better? Okay, I'm being told that the ch that it is better. Put my Steam chat in here, though I should probably put my Twitch chat in there. I don't know if anyone even in there is watching me, but uh, either way, here we go. Man, this game does not play well here with the streaming options. Yeah, we'll just have to live with that. That's my background now, okay. Well, this is a whole shit show, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Okay, so hopefully, I, I just put everything that is uh, something I don't want to share on my right screen and everything in the game on my left screen, hopefully that forever feels, or uh, stays that way. Alright, now that I've spent like, what, 20 uh, five minutes, okay, maybe not that bad. Five minutes, um, let's actually play.
play this game a little bit. Enter my name. I want to see if there's any way to stop it from changing or stopping the audio whenever I can. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Now oh, that can get annoying. And I'm going to hide that chat since no one in there is paying any attention to this game. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna go casual mode. I don't know, should I do full? I'll do full name. Where am I? Is this a dream? Not quite, Murphy. Then you're the, the big P.I. in the sky? That's right, Murphy. But now is not the time for you to be here. There is a vast and malignant evil at work on the Earth. Fate, for some reason that even I cannot fathom, has chosen you <laughs> to oppose it. But why me? I'm no more thrilled about it than you are. Nevertheless, your fate has been decided. Okay. I don't know why I didn't think that it was Nikola Tesla. Tesla. There is some production value here. Holy. Tex Murphy. I'm a small time private investigator in the big city of New San Francisco. My office isn't in the glamour districts, it's in the run down, mutant part of the city, close to Coit Tower. A place they've been refurbishing for years, but it never seems to improve. Not exactly great for business, but it holds a strange attraction for me. I've cracked some pretty big cases over the years. You may even have heard of me. But I don't do much investigating anymore. These days, I'm known for being a man who gets things done, no matter what the cost. You got a job that pays? I'll do it. No questions asked. I can't really remember why I became a PI. Maybe I was drawn to the romance, adventure, and independence it offered. Or maybe because I believed in its code of honor. That a man can remain untarnished as others sink into a cesspool of lies, corruption, and greed. A man better than the world around him.
really a big fan of this so far. But even a set of principles can slowly slip from your grasp. The world has a way of beating you into submission. Circumstances change. The guilty aren't always punished. Temptations become obsessions, and love can be violently taken, leaving it empty and hollow. Each day, innocence fades, and your character weakens. And that's not all at once, but a piece at a time until you can't be put back together again. You finally realize the only way to get ahead in this world is to make sure you're on the winning side, and then do anything you can to stay alive. I don't know why I'm so reflective tonight. Maybe I finally crossed the Rubicon, but that's not true either. I passed that sign miles back and didn't even pause to take a picture. Maybe I just feel extra guilty tonight for what I'm about to do. There was a time when I would have never agreed to do something this despicable. I can't explain why I do this. But maybe Judas would understand. Man, I love this game so far. <laughs> it's got a good feel to it. Did that say dance instructor? I don't care. Drag him into the speeder. Look, look, look. The top window. I think we got him. Let's get out of here. This is up in here. Ouch. Floor. Finally! What was all that commotion outside anyway? Howza! You really got a hit on the head. Remember me? Your old pal Huck? Seriously, you look clueless. Uh, who or what are you? Geez, how hard did you hit your head? Well, let me reintroduce myself. I'm your smart Alex, your personal assistant <laughs> version 1.5, fashioned three years ago in a factory with truly horrible working conditions. <laughs> you don't want to know. I'm your trusty tech-savvy sidekick, whose primary functions include travel agent, inventory tracking and analysis, investigative advice, case notes, and I'm also a confidant and a best buddy, you gigantic oaf. Remember? Not really. Would you like a tutorial on my usage? Yes. Activating tutorial mode. Let's begin. Welcome to the Smart Alex interface. This is where the magic happens. This button takes you to your inventory. Items you pick up along the way can be viewed and used from here. To take a closer look at an item, select it and then click the examine icon. The examine feature often gives clues about the object. This is your map, where you can view your current location or warp to other locales. This icon is our handy dandy built-in hint system. It will list tasks for each location. This is your flashlight. If you are in a particularly dark environment, you can turn on this flashlight to help you out. If you're playing in casual mode, when the beam of light from the flashlight shines on an object that needs to be picked up, the object will sparkle. Ooh. This is the look icon. If you want to look at an object without interacting with it, press this icon. Yeah, more furniture I don't recognize. The use icon allows you to interact with an object in the environment. The smart Alex icon will flash in the corner confirming an item has been picked up and placed in the inventory. To exit out of the smart Alex game interface, click on the giant X in the middle. 
Let's start by picking up an item to add to the inventory. Walk over to the corner shelf and pick up the broken record. Oh, man. My Gene Autry record's broken in two. Now let's take a look at this new addition in your inventory. Return to the Smart Alex interface and click on the inventory icon. Look! The broken record! Examine the broken record to hear a clue about what to do with it. I'll need some glue to repair this broken record. Exit your inventory by clicking the X in the I don't think that's how. Well, let's try picking up another inventory item. Navigate to the desk and pick up the bottle of glue. <laughs> it's a bottle of stupid glue. Now open your inventory again. You now have both the broken record and the bottle of glue. Let's try combining your two inventory items. Select the broken record and drag it to one of the combination slots below. Uh. Now select the glue and drag it to the other combination slot. I'm experiencing a sensation altogether new to me, and frankly, I love it. Success! You have now created a vinyl <laughs> record. Well, I definitely remember my Gene Autry record. It's my one stability in this crazy world. Try using the vinyl record on your Victrola player in your office. To use an inventory item, simply point at the target, open the inventory, select an item, and then press the Use icon. I close my eyes ah, Gene Autry, the singing cowboy. Nice choice of music. One more thing. To access the pause menu, simply hit Escape. From here, you can save your game, access the main menu, explore the help section, or quit the game. Yep, that's all there is to it. Now let's get back to your actual case. Okay. You have a fax. You have a fax. My indispensable water cooler still doesn't have paper cups. My indispensable water... Well, I sure don't remember how these holes got in the wall. They look fairly recent, judging from the debris. Who would have done this? And why? You have a you have a Salsa dancing is a Murphy family tradition. Yeah, he must have made the custodial staff really, really you have angry. You have a from here, I get a great view of Chandler Avenue, the original Boulevard of you Broken Dreams. You have a fax. Ooh. Okay. This furniture being so nice. What okay, I'm gonna have to look at the facts. Hmm. No messages on the vid phone. You have a fax. You have a fax. Looks like somebody's wiped my computer clean. You have a fax. On Saturday nights, you I push the fax. furniture to the walls and cut loose on the dance floor. Ah, uh, the Colonel. He was my first real mentor in the PI business, and here he is giving me a helpful tip. Because apparently you never learned the first rule of a PI. And never, ever, betray your friends. Now, friendship goes beyond blood and race and politics. You gotta find out who your friends are, then you hold on to them! I always get the chill of fear down my spine whenever I think of him. You have a fax. You have a fax. That's a drawer. for pennies on eBay. <laughs> eBay reference, huh? Okay, here's the fax machine. Oh boy, a fax. Hey Murph, I've been out of the state doing UFO research. And Bigfoot. It's a note from my old friend Archie Ellis. 
Apparently he's out of town doing some research. When he returns, I'll need to ask him about the case we're working on. It's a note from my old friend Archie Ellis. Well, it's another Mike and I Hammer candy comic, Key Lime Largo. I'll put this in my comic book rack. When things get slow in the detective business, I've always been able to fall back on my skills as a dance instructor. Well, that's new. Yeah, it's a picture of pre-World War III San Francisco. Mm. What on earth is this amount of cash doing in my office? If someone was trying to hire me to do something, it probably wasn't legal. I better put this away until I know exactly why it's here. My friend Louie runs the Brew and Stew, and this is his personal brand of coffee. I gotta say, it packs a wallop. Ah, my old trusty Victrola still seems the same. Plays my 78s. Oh, man. My Richie Haven signature guitar signature disappeared. That'll teach me to get an autograph with a dry erase marker. <laughs> my Gene Autry fake book. Whenever I'm feeling low, I can sing the songs of my hero. Fake book? Maltese Falcon? I don't remember picking up this little souvenir. How long was I knocked out? Oh man, this record's broken in two. Sometimes, I wish I had a talking gumball machine as my wacky sidekick. These are the fedoras I've collected over the years, and I take great care of them. Hey, one of these has a hole in it. How did that happen? Old trusty sidearm. Been with me since the beginning. You want some of this, huh? Bam, bam! Hey, bam, bam, bam! Bam! Bam, bam! Bam! And you! Hey, hey, Sonny, can you help me out? My girlfriend threw my gun out of the window. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just pick it up and, uh... Hey, don't, don't point that thing up here. That's not a toy, you know. Oh, my hell. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. I'm getting the feeling I should play the first game. Blue's always useful. This looks interesting. Probably a book on how to map out fun spots to visit inside your brain. Enigma. <laughs> Sounds like the story of my life. Why would I be researching this? It's one of my business cards, but it looks different. When did I change these? An article on the Russian white movement. Am I truly so bored I'm reading Russian history?
Oh, nope. Wrong button. Let's see how the saving goes. Hmm. No messages on the vid phone. This furniture being so nice. What happened? Ah, the big Finnish detective by your errand corners. Finns make the best detectives. My camera books are great, but I prefer stories about his crazy nephews, Mike and I Camer. I try to collect all their candy comics. Well, this happened on my first case. I was in the shootout of my life at the warehouse district. Whoa. I took a bullet, and while I was recovering, I swore I was always going to use my brains before brawn. holes got in the wall. They look fairly recent, judging from the debris. Who would have done this? Why? Well, I sure don't remember how these holes got in the wall. They look fairly recent, judging from the debris. Who would have done this? Why? One of my golf partners. Old bogey, we call him. These are my credentials. They don't just give this to anyone. You have to pay a fee. These are my credentials. They don't just give this to anyone. You have to pay a fee. These are my credentials. They One of my golf partners. Oh, on Saturday nights, I pushed the furniture to the walls and cut loose on the dance floor. <laughs> this looks interesting. Probably a book on how to map out fun spots. Ding, 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 ding! We have a winner! Well, I definitely remember my Gene Autry record. It's my... Man, I don't even know what I was trying to do. I close my eyes and dream... I close my eyes and dream... Ah, my old trusty Victrola still seems the same. Plays my 78s. The Ritz is the fire trap I call home. So, it wasn't a horrible dream. There are gun shell casings and a shot out window above the electronic shop. Hmm. I know I'm involved, but how? I should investigate the area and then find out if anybody else heard the commotion. It's the front door to my office. Chelsea's newsstand is completely abandoned. I need to find out what happened to Chelsea. Nice speeder, and it's parked in my favorite handicap spot. The Ritz is the fire trap I call home. That's Chandler Avenue, the street I call home. There's a lot of homes, aren't there? That's an empty vial. Lead pipes are always magically drawn to my skull, like moths to the flame. Oh. What?
This photo was taken from the top floor of the elect. Nice graffiti art. Whoa, it's a picture of me at my office. Someone's been spying on me from the top floor of the electronics shop. Nice graffiti art. No one knows these back alleys of Chandler quite like me. He's injected himself. I don't care. Drag him into the speeder. I think someone was getting abducted. It's the Wardenclyffe Tower. A Nikola Tesla invention. I have the strangest feeling this is related. No one knows these back alleys of Chandler. It's the Wardenclyffe Tower, a Nikola Tesla invention. I have the strangest feeling. Where's he shooting from? Look, look, look! The top window! Alright, just shut out our headlights. Remember speeder headlights coming down the alleyway. No one knows these back alleys of Chandler quite like motor oil, the secret ingredient to Louis' Armageddon blend. Louis usually up at this time. I should ask him if he heard anything. It looks like the dumpster escaped unscathed. Good. This became a highly sought-after neighborhood post-World War III when it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. <laughs> oh, another Mike and Ike hammer. Candy cane confidential. This became a highly sought-after neighborhood post-World War III when it was found that the radiation... No one knows these back out. These dumpsters have housed various individuals over the years. It's always nice to know I'll have a place to go if I can't make rent. Ah, it's a Mike and Ike Hammer candy comic, Citizen Candy Cane. It's an electronic shop now, but it once was a boarding house for some of San Francisco's most notorious smugglers and petty criminals. Ah, looks like Louie at the Bruin Stew is preparing to open up shop. You should go talk to him. Maybe he heard something. This became a highly sought-after neighborhood post-World War III when it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. Now it's a Mike and Ike Hammer Candy comic, The Sweet and Sour Lady. I'll put this in my comic book rack back at the office. This is the brew and stew run by Louis Laments, nicest guy on Chandler. He let me run up a tab a time or two. This is a pretty interesting game so far. Closed. Yeah, this building's been a lemon for anyone who's tried to open a business here. Oh, it's my favorite podcast. Full of pod people. This is a pretty cool game. Mike and I camera. Murder, my sweet. Closed. Yeah, this building's been a lemon for anyone who's trying. This became a highly sought after neighborhood post World War III when it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. Every few years, someone gets the bright idea that this place should be preserved. Repairs are done for a few months, then the workers disappear when City Hall realizes what type of people really inhabit this place. Yeah, 
Yeah, the Golden Gate Hotel was so famous they named a bridge after it. These dumpsters have housed various individuals over the years. It's always nice to know I'll have a place to go if I can't make rent. I'm gonna guess I shouldn't be able to see through that. Oh, it's eating at me now. Okay. Franco Spinoza. I'm going to be playing some songs that I know you'll love. Listen to this one. Hard and cold, it's what it does to me. Hard and cold, the shower sprays on me. La la, hey, la la, la hell with it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, that's the Snow White Warehouse. Mi hombre is takes. It's closed. Most businesses on Chandler Avenue won't open until later. It's like a swipe card reader. That's the Snow White Warehouse. It's the old Savant School. That had a short tenure here on Chandler Avenue. Lots of impressive graduates, though. This became a highly sought-after neighborhood post-World War III when it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. Hey, that's my ex-wife's boyfriend. I don't know if I trust this guy. The green screen leads me to believe that they're going to Photoshop someone else in later. <laughs> hey, get a haircut, hippie. You know, I can appreciate any man who wears a turtle. Hey, that's my ex-wife's boyfriend. B.I. rule number 47. Never trust anyone with a monocle. I think I borrowed money from this guy once. What is this guy mad about? Must be a pilot. Only pilots wear scars. The hell? The Cardinals? Get this guy an agent. He looks a little too young to be in here. This guy looks like that famous actor who was in all those movies. I hope this wasn't his Christmas card. If William H. Macy were more handsome, he'd look like this. Oh god, there's a whole bunch of them in here I didn't even notice. Oh, time to... Very distinguished. Definitely a physics major. Mr. Congeniality. Now that's a nice smile. The winter is coming. Meow. What he's looking at. He seems stern, yet fair. Someone get this guy a comb. Most likely to start an NGO. Oh, what a strong jawline <laughs> you have. Whoa, that player be mean mugging me. Most likely to start a Fortune 500 company. Yeah, don't do the crime, can't do the time. Well, this joker might have taken submit a headshot too seriously. Most likely to be a beatnik. <laughs> Must have been class president. It's like he's looking through me. Most likely to become president? Uh-huh. John Lennon? <laughs> oh, 
she looks good in purple. Most likely to become a famous actor. The key to life is not taking it seriously. Riding sharks. He's almost too serious. Looks like someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Captain of the football team. Nice shades. Oh, he looks great in a suit. Class clown, class of 2022. Most likely to visit all seven continents. Uh, most likely to lose his keys at a Pink Floyd concert. Cutest couple, class of 2022. There's gonna be more up here, isn't there? Oh, uh, well, I'm in it. Most likely to become an enforcer for the Mafia. This became a highly sought after name. Well, this must have been taken at a movie premiere. Well, hello there. Most likely to be ID'd when he's 30. Most likely to take over the world. What's he doing at the Savant School? He looks like an ale swilling, lightning riding Norse god. Well, the shirt says Audrey Hepburn, and those legs are all Betty Grable. Most likely to pose in front of leather-bound books. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Quiet. Hey, put some clothes on. CSI, New San Francisco, starring this guy. Family isn't just a thing. It's the only thing. Now that's a man I'd buy speeder insurance from. Most likely to solve world hunger, class of 2021. Most likely to be reincarnated as Jerry Garcia. Was that a question at the end? Most likely to be reincarnated as Jerry Garcia. I'll make him an offer he can't refuse. Well, this mutant's got a little green hand coming out of his forehead. Cool. I wouldn't kill you to smile for the picture. That is easily in the top ten best mustaches I've ever seen. College shirt says business, but the daiquiri says party. <laughs> Most likely to climb Mount Everest. You know, the older I get, the younger everyone else seems to look. Dad, are you back from the grocery store? Oh, sure. Show off that you were in Paris. Well, let's have a staring contest. One, two, three, go. A candid moment of our subject, deep in thought. A party on, dude. Mrs. Havisham. I have the funniest feeling that this guy is pantsless. Groovy. Hey, it's a better looking version of me. Most sarcastic, class of 2020. I don't trust that cat, not one bit. I think I saw this guy in Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Uh, most likely to be a U.S. Senator. Most likely to be first married. Most likely to win the Nobel Prize. Most laid back, class of 2020. Most likely to marry for money. I'm not really sure what's going on here. This became a... Uh, I wouldn't want to freak you out, but there's a huge bird on your head. You know, I was just thinking that people don't wear enough orange. Most likely to ski down Mount Everest. This picture is about as friendly as an audit by the IRS. Most likely to play guitar in an indie band. Ding, 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 ding. We have a doppelganger. This became a highly sought after neighborhood. What's a Mike and I camera candy comic? Licorice rope. Come on. I'm gonna bet that that's a bunch of like Kickstarters or something. This became a highly sought after neighborhood post World War III when it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. Yep, that's the Snow White oh, Warehouse. I came from there. Nothing but destroyed homes and buildings for blocks in all directions. But each year, something menacing grows up through the decay.
I'm pretty sure every one of your cases involves the Snow White warehouse somehow. It's locked, and I need to find a way to open it. Well, there's a mean-looking pooch behind this gate. It's closed. Most businesses on Chandler Avenue won't open until later. Rusty's always gave me the creeps. Looks like Rusty's fun mass building has been converted into a Knights of the Templar clubhouse. Rusty's always gave me the creeps. It's a three carts to midnight shop. Archie helped me out on my Pandora directive case where we met a charming fellow named Jackson Cross. I'm gonna do you the favor of a lifetime. I'm gonna let you walk. But if I catch you meddling in NSA affairs one more time, I'm gonna put a bullet right in your eyeball, is that clear? Get this puke head out of my office. I'll be watching you, Murphy. Uh-oh. Man, I thought this would have ended up in the Andes Mountains. It's a three cards to midnight shop. Okay, I'd say I uh, gave this a bit over a half hour of play. I am uh, definitely going to continue playing this one. Uh, I don't know if I'll stream at all, but uh, uh, I'm one for two in my uh, Steam backlog and finding games that are interesting. Um, I like it. I like this a lot. Uh, I need to look up... I've heard of Tex uh, Murphy Adventures before, but I've never really played any or seen any. So this will be um This will definitely be something I'll uh look into further maybe. But uh yeah, good fun. <laughs>